Morning everybody. How y'all doing this beautiful day? Well, I decided to come in here for a few hours this morning and see if I can't get a couple little things done. Uh, I do have to go to work this afternoon and start another week. But I started on it last night and it's just eating me alive. You know, I want to see if I can't get something further accomplished with it. So let me show you what it is. If you haven't seen already. Alright, so... I went to Tractor Supply and I got a trailer fender. This thing is... Well, these numbers don't make any sense. Basically, it's 8 inches wide by 27 inches, I think from here to here is what they're saying. And uh, it covers these tires nicely. And... I've made a couple brackets. This will go down at the bottom of the frame with holes drilled in it to bolt to the fender. This little one will go up on the frame where the seat springs are attached. It'll hang off the bottom of it. It'll hang down like that with bolts going through it. And I'll weld the nuts, I'll drill the holes and weld the nuts on the back of the fender. And of course I'll have to cut out a relief for the chain. And when I get it on there then I'll figure out how exactly I want the back to look and cut it to fit. But that's the plan and that's what I'm working on. Now let me show you a different view of this thing. Yeah, I think you can see just how nicely that covers the width of the tire. The, I think it's the radius is the word I'm looking for. The curvature is not exactly right because it's a lot, for a lot bigger tire than this one. But uh, I'm only going to be using a little over half of the actual fender. So it's not going to look too odd. It should come out looking pretty good. Anyway, I'm going to try it and see. i got nothing to lose, right? All right. Well, guys, I didn't show you this. But I didn't even realize it was there. Replacement trailer fenders. Single axle galvanized. 8 inch wide. 28 inches long. Fits most 8, 10, and 12 inch tires. Single axle trailers. Two tire trailer. Okay. Now you know. Oh, customer service. Out of Lavania, Georgia. From the website carryontrailer.com. There's their phone number and website and stuff. Alright, now we know. Now we got the rest of the story. Um, I went ahead and cut out my relief for my chain, drilled my holes for my bracket. And I don't want it hanging down below that bracket because I, you know, in the event we go off road and hit rocks and things, I don't want it to catch and get all bent up. So that's where it's going to stop. So, that being said, I can set it in there and size things up and figure out where I need to drill my holes for the top mount. Which that's going to be completely interesting. <laughs> Uh, it's like a, you know, a one-arm juggler. Okay. Well, I drilled my holes and bolted my brackets on there. And I flipped it over. And I tack welded my uh, nuts to it, which you can see all the splatter and goodies. took some of that uh, anti-splatter spray and I had a couple little plastic lids off of something and I put them over the nuts and then I sprayed all around it so that this other splatter wouldn't really stick to it and it's you can see it's pretty much wiping off that anti-splatter spray does work look at that see it's just wiping off with my old gloves except for right around where I didn't spray it and then of course I took my wrench and tried them to make sure the nuts are actually 
being secured and I didn't weld the threads together and I've already done that but I'm just gonna attempt to show you yeah they all turned so I did good I didn't weld my threads together so now I'm just gonna let it cool down a minute so I can handle it good I'll prop it back up in the bike and tack weld the brackets to the frame in the appropriate places and then we'll have a look at it I believe I got her centered and everything like that so maybe it'll be okay here's that uh, anti-splatter stuff I'm using now I've had some of you guys suggest different things to me on my comments and off the top of my head I can't remember what they are somebody suggested some sort of light cooking oil I believe uh, and I believe that might work I, I don't remember what it was it's not Pam but who was it and what did they say? Jeez, I'm, I'm brain dead right now. Can't think of it. Anyway, this is what I used. Uh, $4.20 for that can. And I've actually used it a lot. And there's a lot of times where I forget to use it and then I wish I had. Because it does work. Anyway, let me show you where we're at. There's a shot of it from this angle. And I know it sticks out way far in the back. But uh, it's going to be cut off somewhere. And I don't want it really super short because I have plans to, uh, well, I'm considering building some sort of a luggage rack slash passenger seat right here. But I'm thinking cutting it off just to where when I back up it'll hit the tire, not the fender. So maybe an, on a vertical plane, like an inch away from where the tire is. So that would put it right about in here. How's that, fellas? I had to cut it off a little bit. It was sticking out too far. I couldn't even get the garage door to shut. <laughs> well, I probably could, but you know what I mean. I was going to be bumping into it. I tried to walk around it. I went ahead and cut it off to the length of the tire. Because I know that's the longest that I would want it. I don't know. I'm going to leave it like that for now. All right. Wow hot already uh thanks for guys for coming by watching me do that fender stuff i uh, appreciate you leave me some comments let me know what you think thumbs up my video and uh i'll see you next time let me know what you think about that you know should i leave it man yeah, should i cut it off real short you know or should i leave it real long should i take it off and do something different let me know what you think anyway good to see you guys take care all right, bye-bye.